The Airwing Classic, it, when you get it, it is in multiple pieces. The fuselage is actually in multiple parts. As I was planning out how I wanted to set this up, for sure I wanted to put on a larger power system. So this particular power system is very similar, well, identical to what's on the Airwing Pro, much heavier. So we were going to have a bit of a problem with center of gravity. So what I ended up doing is taking some <clears throat> weights, some wheel weights, shrink wrapped them, and there's a couple cavities in the, as you're putting together the fuselage clam shelling this together, I inserted a couple of these in a few places to make sure that I had the right CG. Another thing I did, because I was going to power a little faster, is I did put in some additional carbon fiber strips crossed here, just for a little bit more rigidity. As far as from the front to the back, <clears throat> we have the Run Cam 5. We have a Cadex Rattel 2. Powered, basically the power <clears throat> battery system is a 4S uh, 2300 45C. Went with the Maytec GPS. I had a less expensive version of that. Had a little bit of an issue, which I'll show in a bit. Uh, either I lost GPS or I configured something wrong. So I decided to spend the extra bucks and get a nicer GPS unit. So for a uh, VTX uh, AKK uh, Mini, I think it is. Works great. I've got a couple of these AKKs and various types, and they all work fine. Maytec 411 WSE and it's running INAV 3.0. There is a known issue where every once in a while, all of a sudden, <clears throat> you are basically everything's erased. Make sure if you're using 4.11 WSE on INAV 3.0 and above, you do that diff all backup. Um, and then to restore, it's no big deal. Now I had a couple times where it erased. I recently turned off auto uh, servo trimming. Uh, automatic servo trim or a continuous servo trim. Turn that off and I haven't had a problem yet. We'll see what happens. I'll keep going. I'll let you know. Receiver is a FR Sky XX XM Plus. Little buzzer, no big deal. Uh, for the antenna, I'm going with the Menace RC Aeropod. <clears throat> the other thing I did with uh, when it was all apart was I put in some lights, a couple uh, LEDs. Easy to route since this whole thing was basically in two parts. Routed everything, good to go. Like I said, motor's significantly larger than uh, what came with it. It's the 2216 uh, 1400 kV. Same system that's on the Airwing Pro. Did print up some uh, wingtips. Uh, lightweight. Um, there's uh, several things on Thingiverse <clears throat> that you can uh, find and print. And they work exceptionally well. And that's, there's a ton of info on it. So uh, that's basically how I have mine set up. Thanks a lot. Getting ready to do my uh, maiden launch. Setting up iNav, uh, arming, and uh, the footage is from a, a Mavic 2 Pro. My dad is flying. Pretty uneventful. I was planning to go under the goggles, but I was having an issue um, on one of my modes. I goofed up on one of the settings, so quickly brought it back down and uh, <clears throat> had everything kind of just set up okay. This particular situation is where something went sideways. I went to launch, everything fine. I had selected return to home, gets up to, uh, to the finishing spot, and then all of a sudden I start losing GPS and it goes into emergency landing. So it's either A, I uh, have a GPS problem, or B, I messed up on the launch or the return to home abort distance. So either way, kind of uh, frustrating, piled it in, only broke the wing tip, but it was no big deal. All in all, if this is an amazing plane, very agile, fast, fun. Everybody at the club kind of likes it. It's a, a great, Great system. Highly recommend it. And uh, that's all. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Thanks a lot.